With my in-demand job in the automotive industry, I will be able to pay off all my personal debt much sooner than anticipated. In 2014, I graduated from Baylor University with a Bachelor of Science in Anthropology with a concentration in Forensic Anthropology, and I realized that I didn't want to use that degree in the field as a career, so I changed gears and went to TSTC. My name is Victoria Nations, and I'm studying automotive technology here at TSTC. So today we're going to see what's going on with this Dodge Dart. So we're going to back it up and put it on a lift. So to get a car on a lift, you kind of want to go past it first, like you're about to go in between them. That way when you back up, you are more lined up. I did not expect to actually choose this as a career, but as I started coming here and realizing that I actually enjoyed it. I started thinking, oh, I could make this a career. And now we're going to lift the vehicle so that we can inspect underneath it. The fact that TSTC keeps tuition so low is great for so many reasons, especially because I came to TSTC using veterans education benefits and had I wanted to go to a four-year university, I would have paid a lot more out of pocket and I would not have gotten a degree that I could use on day one. Just by looking at things, you can see that there's no visible leaks, so everything's good. So now you can lower the vehicle to check for diagnostic trouble codes. The instructors here at TSTC want to give as much of their knowledge to us so that we can become successful. It's not just a job to them, they really are invested in helping us become successful in the automotive industry. So you can see that the check engine light is on and you can hear it rumble. It means there may be a misfire or another issue with the car. And these are the engine codes. None of these would necessarily lead to a misfire. So the next step would be a visual inspection. You would just start looking to see if maybe something is not connected properly. And you can see that this one has been unplugged or came loose if the connector is broken. So you sh first we're just gonna plug it all the way back in and start the vehicle back up and see if that fixed the issue. Now you can see that there's no check engine light, so the misfire has been fixed. Once I graduate from TSTC, I will be able to go from part-time at my job that I have thanks to the co-op requirement at TSTC to full-time, where my income will be even higher. I will be very happy that I came to TSTC.